Hey, welcome to my new video. We have covered a lot of things so far in the previous eight videos, emphasizing the importance of setting up your business, focusing on the niche, and what you need to do in order to take your business to the next level. Now, since we are jumping into the practical side of uh, learning, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create effective Google Ads that yield in the great ROI, return of investment. Of course, uh, we are talking about paid advertisements using Google Ads, previously known as Google AdWords, where uh, you'll be able to spend money, and we're going to do it real time, of course, by sharing my screen, and also see how we can effectively create a campaign, and at the same time, uh, use a coupon code, which I've just received an email, and see if we can redeem that coupon code while using Google Ads. The coupon code means that, in this case, I've got around 70 odd dollars, and if I spend 70 odd dollars in ads, I'll be able to use $70 coupon, and I can redeem that for same amount of advertisement. So effectively, I'll be doing 140 odd dollars advertisement. That's what I'm going to spend on Google Ad. But I'm on, actually I'm spending seventy dollars, and I'm using seventy dollars for the coupon code of Google Ads. How does this whole thing works? Let's just jump to my screen. Hey, welcome to my screen. If you want to advertise on Google Ads, all you need to do is go to ads.google.com, or you can also search Google Ads on Google and you can go directly on the very first link you will see. So I am inside Google Ads splash page, landing page as they call it, and I'm gonna click on start now. For you to create Google Ads, all you need is a Google account. Everybody is using Gmail, so you can access Google accounts. By clicking on this link, um, you'll be taken to a new page. In my case, since I am a active Google Ads account user, I see a lot of uh, activities taking place in my dashboard as you can see 314k impression 27 clicks and so forth I'm not going to confuse you with all this so instead I'm going to take you to new campaign and that's what you will see when you sign up for Google Ads so you're going to land to this splash page uh, there are multiple options you'll see uh, again just to reiterate the previous screen you have just seen is irrelevant to you if you're a new user on Google Ads. And if you're an existing user, of course you are familiar with that screen because that's my dashboard. Uh, as a new user, what you'll see is uh, these four icons uh, displayed in uh, four boxes in one row. And uh, it highlights the importance of uh, leveraging the uh, different engagement level using Google Ads. So the first is sales. And if you who are your mouse over? It says that uh, one can drive online sales on their app or phone and store if they click on sales. And the second is leads. Uh, you can get uh, leads and conversions by encouraging your customers to take action. And then there is website traffic, self-explanatory. If you got a website and if you need traffic on your website, of course, that's where you need to go to. Then there is product and brand consideration encourage people to explore your product or services. This product and services, for example, if you type in uh, protein powder, the top tab you see is shopping. If you click on shopping, these are the initial ads that are used by clicking on product and brand consideration. So if you want to sell your product directly uh, under the shopping tab, that's where you need to click on product and brand consideration. Then there is brand awareness and research, and then there's app promotion. If you've got a mobile app, you can promote that. Uh, same goes for uh, game store. If you've got a local store uh, where you want physical interaction, uh, you, you can give your address of your shop or retail store or your office, and then you can also supply your phone number in your ads. And last but not the least, create a campaign without a goal guidance. Uh, for now, I'll skip this because this is highly irrelevant when it comes to Google Ads. Uh, website traffic is something I'm gonna focus on. So I'm gonna click on website traffic. Uh, it takes me to four more options. The first being search. So uh, if you go to Google and if you type in, for example, uh, I'm, I go to Google and I type in Digital Marketing Agency NYC. You see some ads there. The one with AD are ads and they are prominently displayed at the top of search results. So, uh, if you look 
for uh, other organic keywords where people are not advertising. For example, if I search for digital marketing, mind you, I'm in Pakistan, so not many people advertise in this part of the world uh, using Google Ads. But just for the discussion sake, if I type in digital marketing, I'll see all the organic search results without the AD ads shown uh, right on the top. So I'm going to click on the back button uh, to take you back to the example where if, if someone is specifically searching for marketing agency in New York or NYC for, in this case, they will see AD displayed ads, advertised ads. So going back to the Google ads, the first thing is search, which is the ad. The second is display. Display new customers to your website, build your site visitors list with ads that show across the web and optimize your campaign performance. What does this mean? This means that Google AdSense, if you have seen the Google ads appearing on different websites, uh, for example, the, here's an ad you see on my website, beingguru.com, uh, that is showing through display medium. Third is shopping. Um, just gave you an example of shopping. So I'm not going to spend time explaining this again. So the fourth one is video. So if you've got a video, you can uh, have people who are interested in your service or product visit your website using the video option. The fourth is discovery, of course. This can be done through YouTube, Gmail, discover, so on and so forth. So I'm going to click on the search bar, which is the very first one. The, the idea is to get traffic on my website. So select the ways you like to reach your goal. Uh, I'm going to put in my business website. In this case, I'm going to advertise my web development agency, infamous.com. And I'm going to actually spend some time here uh, and advertise this across US. Uh, campaign name is infamous digital ad ads campaign. That's what I'm going to name it. I'm going to click the continue button. Once I click on the continue button, uh, so I'm going to put in the budget here and budget in this case is $20. I'm going to run this ad for four days. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on the uh, bidding options. And I'm going in this case, I'm going to click on the clicks because I want my ad to be shown to the people and I want to be charged if someone clicks on my ad. That's what I'm going to do. So that's about it. Do not need to click anything else. At the bottom, you see the next button. I'm going to click on the next button. And uh, now it is going to show me the location I want my ad to be advertised to. Now, the next thing you see is the location option. And that's where you can advertise your ad to any particular location or a country. I want to advertise my ad in USA. So I'm going to click on enter location. And I'm going to click on NYC New York United States City it says that I can reach my ad to uh, 32 million people here and I just selected New York New York United States City uh, pretty good reach so far uh, very less budget of course I understand that if I want to advertise my website to USA of course I'll be better advised to go for at least at least hundred odd dollars in a day and run my campaign for at least 10 days. So uh, $1,000 or above would be a pretty handy budget if you want to advertise your website by offering by product and service. So that would be something uh, I would advise everybody to do. So entering my location as New York, United States, and uh, the language is English. That's about it. Do not need to worry about anything else. Uh, rest are just the options. And uh, there's one last thing you need to understand. So I've been a victim of this. I forgot to put in the end date of my campaign only to find out that uh, Google charged $400 extra. Uh, not their fault, of course, my fault, because I did not put in the uh, campaign end date. And in this case, if you click on more settings, it uh, the first tab you see is start and end dates. And I'm going to click on the pencil icon so that I can select an end date of my campaign. So start date is 21st, 31st January and the end date would be I'm going to select a date here and I'm going to put in uh, since I put in $20 a day uh, I'm, I'm fine in, you know if I do it for four days so for the four days I am going to advertise my website infamous.com for $80 in full 
that's it that's what i need to know right now and uh, i just selected the date uh, to 24th january so now my campaign will end on 24th january it's going to run for full four days i click on the next button and uh, this is where the whole magic happens the first thing is i need to select the keywords and i've selected few keywords here now if you want to select keywords i would advise you to go to the next video because right now if i uh, talk about keywords it's going to make it a little complicated so i have uh, selected few keywords here and i'm going to actually live with the first eight or nine at most here's the ad section and uh, i need to optimize my ad so that it looks prominent the first thing is i'm gonna uh, put in a headline here uh, let's see if we can come up with the eye catchy headline and the headline is need a website look no further you are lucky need a website you are lucky just gonna fix in the typo here so that's the headline I'm going to use. Now, next thing is I'm, I have to provide the description. And uh, since it is also already populated to save time, Informist Services Company providing cutting edge uh, web development services. I'm going to fix in the spelling mistake here. Web development services. And that's about it. Uh, pretty good so far. Here's one thing you need to learn about uh, the keywords here. And that is, if you focus this little um, message displayed at the bottom of keywords tab, if you are focusing on broad keyword, broad match, all you need to do is just put in the keyword as it is. But if you're focusing on uh, exact match, then you'll need to put your keywords in the brackets here. Just like I'm going to do right now. There you go, in the bracket, web development. If I put in the bracket, Google is going to search for exact match. Next thing you need to focus on is, of course, clicking on the next button since you have already populated the headline and everything else that is going to make your ad look good. So you could get two more clicks on the same budget if you created a site link extension. So what does site link extension means? It means that you're providing more information about your ad. I'm gonna search for the next button here. Just clicked on the next button. And uh, now I need to populate my billing information. I'm gonna click on fix it. If you're new, of course, you'll be taken directly to this particular uh, prompt box. So I'm going to populate my uh, credit card information by clicking on add card, debit card and there I need to put in my card information. I'm going to blur this for you for the uh, requirements of uh, Google Ads. I'm going to put in my card information. Uh, so just submitting my information and uh, hoping that uh, the information is stored seems good so i'm going to publish my campaign here if i click on a button here with that says publish campaign now here my campaign is published but it doesn't go out immediately it is pending review so i assume a human or a bot will review my campaign before it gets published that's how you use google ads for you for getting traffic on your website or perhaps getting traffic on your online stores and uh, that's how our ad group looks like if in the future i'm not happy with the performance of my ads i can actually stop it there and then now remember in the beginning of this video i talked about using campaign coupon code which means that if i'm spending 70 dollars i'll be able to get 70 dollars in credit which essentially means that uh, i'll be able to use 140 odd dollars while only paying 70 dollars and 70 dollars uh, extra is a coupon code that i can use for my campaign how do you redeem it 
let's just look at my screen again if you go to Google Ads and if you click on the tools icon on the very top and then yeah, you click on billing and payments on the left hand side you see promotions click on the promotions tab once you arrive on that page click on the plus tab and uh, there you can use the promotional code that would allow you to redeem uh, 70 odd dollars as initially mentioned so I'm going to copy the code I have uh, I've blurred it for you uh, since you know I have to comply with the Google Ads policies and I'm going to click on submit button and uh, let's see if this code is good to go and it seems like uh, this code is good to go redeemed currently earning uh, you have redeemed a coupon code or promotion and you are working towards earning this credit now once the criteria are met the credit will be granted to your account so I have to use $70 first before I am able to uh, redeem this coupon code uh, this promotional code and this is an amazing thing right I can use $140 while I'm technically only paying $70 this is how you use Google Ads for driving traffic from Google search results paid traffic to your Google search results and hopefully if your website is good if you're offering a good product and service um, you knows who knows these uh, 70 odd dollars could turn your business into a multi-million dollar business in the long run I've seen amazing things happening on websites I've seen amazing things happening on the internet just right on your luck in the next video we are going to talk about the importance of having a website, how to create your website or get it developed and what essential elements you need to have on your website that could leverage your paid advertisement in a long way. Thank you. <music>